Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Uh, me playing Dwarf Fortress. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over what I, you know, what this is. This is uh, um, 43.12 R2, I think. I don't know. I don't remember things. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of just the setup. I got aquifers on. Got frustrated at one point to turn them off, but I'm ready to do aquifers again. This is an aquifer area that I'm going to go for. Um, all this, just kind of let you know what I'm doing. Got Sound Sense, got Legend Viewer up. Um, I'm doing Sound Sense, not the uh, in game music. Um, yeah, saves are on. I almost never use them. You yeah, only use them like a couple of times, but I always have them as an option. Nice to have options. All right, so welcome to Isunkar, the everlasting dimension. As you can see, it's the age of myth. It's uh, year 125, and this is the setup I did. Small, short, um, short history, small world, high civilizations and sites, maxed out, so very high beasts, savagery, and minerals everywhere. So that's my typical setup. Um, so yeah, oh, 44.12 Arth to, I don't know why it said 43. No. Can't get my can't get my shit straight today. I right, start playing. We're on world 20. That's uh that's here. It's the everlasting dimensions. And also just to show, we got the ultimate sabers. Sabers. They're right over here. Um. So this is you know this is a kind of a, a real tight group. They're they're both about equal in size. Um. One of the things I look for is I look for gods that might have uh you know secrets, and I didn't find any anywhere. You know, this guy, like, you know, got a murder. Day and uh, light. What's an e interesting one? <laughs> and and I thought I got a uh, uh, kick out of this. The, the calluses of puke. Disease and, disease and deformity, but no secrets. So, yeah. And uh, the king here um, doesn't want immortality at all costs, so that's good. Um good social skills, but ultimately we're going to go with the other one, but that's just to show you what the other, you know, civilization is. It's a lot of dwarves, a lot of goblins, a lot of elves, humans, cobalts. That's actually pretty healthy for cobalts. I mean, that size, slice of the pie as far as compared to the other races. All right, so this is the one I think I'm going to go with. As you can see, um, they're much more spread out, so I have probably more uh, chances of getting stuff. Although they're both very big, so I'll probably have access to a lot of stuff. But yeah, the tin leather, letter. Um, depravity, but nothing's really there. <coughs> Fortresses and more. Well, that's not really an evil thing, but. Hmm. Well, that's good stuff. My computer's been super double ticky lately. I don't know why. What's going on? Alright, so. Yeah, so this is uh, King uh, Queen Vabak. Um, yeah, a couple of social skills. Great musician. Cool. Get her in the bar performing. Um, hopefully, I have the queen. All right, so I always already picked out a, a site. I just gotta find it again. Yeah, there it is. It's right down there. Now, you can see that it's aquifer, so it's aquifer. Well, this is going to be an aquifer one. Uh, temperate, heavily forested, thick, joyous, wild. <laughs> so it's the fancy forests. Um, you can see we got uh, dwarves, elves, humans, goblins. So we got the full crew except for no tower. That's okay. The tin letter, that's the one we're going to go with. Um, and this is what I like. Nice and flat. I love flat. All right. So I don't think we can escape the aquifer, but let's just take a look, do the what I call the micro breakdown, and everything it's the same, same, same all over the place. So joyous wilds, we're gonna get um, unicorns, which is great. I mean, you can even get unicorns in calm, but you get them more often in joyous wilds. So I'm happy with this. I am. So yeah, I know, I know about the aquifer, and actually I'm doing a four by four. A lot of times I do five by fives, but sacrifice the room. For better um, FPS, frame rates, speed of the game, that sort of thing. Okay. Dwarf spreadsheet. Let me spell it fine. Q. 
Okay, dwarf spreadsheet says my dwarves are cool or they suck? They're kind of middling. Just covers. I don't know about this. Oh, stop it. Coffins. Ooh, coffins, coffins. I like coffins. What kind of metal do you like? Copper. Billin. Got some of it figured out. Yeah, no steel. Uh, let's see, we've got some crappy dwarves here. Shiny kangaroo leather. could do glass coffins. Make, oh, actually, no, I got mason that can make coffins. Um, let's take a look here. See what we have for leather. Get rid of this anyway. Is it sloth? Sloth. No sloth leather. No leather. Nope, no jang giant kangaroo leather. I don't know about this group. I'm not sold on these guys. This guy, or this gal, she sucks. A couple potential military. Cole to Omelet. Good teacher. Good leader. Okay, anchor. Pretty good. Yeah, they're all acceptable. Bravery. All acceptable. Ooh, you like to really like to mash it up. So they all kind of fit. Arnold's probably the worst at, uh, of it, but still acceptable. Let's see. You like to bash brains the most, don't you? That's pretty good, though. You've got the best teacher. Wow, you're really leady leady. Hatch covers, billin. I gotta tell you, I don't love this group. I don't, but I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm heavily considering it. All right, so what's over here? Ooh, shields. All right. Yeah, I think this group is is pretty good. I mean, not that good, but socks. Hmm. Hmm. I will have you do doctor stuff. No, you're kind of better down there. Uh, these are just placeholders. Oh, you suck ass. What do you, um, God. Violite? We have that. I already did this where I found out what was in the area at Prospect Doll. 
Let's see, do we have Rylet? I think Rylet's up top, but we got Batumis Cole. It's a very, very rough estimate, so I don't know exactly what we have, but we have Isleline, I know that. We don't have Rylet yet. That sucks. Let's see, is it down here? I think it is. No. Alright, so your like of Rylet is is with bronze. Yeah, I think this group is acceptable. Alright, so we're gonna do a militia commander. It's not really wax work, but it means to make a militia commander. Potentially militia commander. I don't know exactly what's what we're going to do. Go make a dedicated architect. So we'll mason him up uh, later. I don't need glass. Yeah, I don't know. I could sell them. Because I think I'm going to do... Yeah, it gives me options. It does. Alright, so who's going to do our talking? Best people already picked. Carpenter's important. I'm almost thinking of. You know what? It skills up quick enough. I'm gonna actually pump some more social points in there. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll have the carpenter start for nothing. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this. So let's, let's do this. Put this down here. Um, that's good. Let's put this down here because I know what everything is. An anvil, not a banvil. No such thing, as far as I know. All right, so Cole is the carpenter, but we're not going to put carpenter skills in right now. Interesting. All right, so Ono is the mason, but we're just going to go building designer and sculpt mason separately. Okay, what else is going on? All right, so we got Mistum. Mistum is a metal smith. No, not metal crafter. I've done that before. That's been annoying. Okay, we got Itan, which is the mechanic. Okay. Itzo and Vibok. Let's take care of them. Glass makers. Oh, I thought I passed it. Okay, and then we'll go down to Mincot. Mincot, you're the mush commander. Cole, you're the broker doctor. I'll do Cole first. Now let's see what we can do. Um, 
Yeah, I, I like to have these three skills. So we're going to do nothing in the carpentry, which is interesting. I don't normally do that. Uh, this is not that necessary for uh, Lush Commander, but... So this guy's actually really good. I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I just make this guy the, the broker too. <clears throat> no skill up. Intimidator. What's going on? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's what. I knew it had to be something. Oh, yeah, discipline. Yeah, I think I'm going to go that way with it. Lost. Oh, uh, yeah, I want Dodger. This is kind of my thing. I just like to get a couple things in there that, you know, I wanted to have off the bat. The other stuff I can skill up. Yeah, there we go. Dodger. As much as I would like to have those skills. Um. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do my typical doctor. Alright, so we're just going to pump it all into carpet. Alright, cool. Alright, and for the rest of them, two in pacifier and consoler, one comedian. This is so they get along. I, I think it helps. I've kind of noticed. I, I, do, I do tons and tons of starts. And this is, you know, I think makes them more welcoming to uh, new dwarves. And I, I think it... Uh, I think it helps, but it's really kind of, it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to say, but I believe it. I believe it. All right, so I got two glass makers. That's what I've been doing lately. Two glass makers. <clears throat> I got a mason. He's really going to be an architect at first. I got a mechanic. I got a mil militia commander. And I got uh, a carpenter. All right, that works pretty well. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just thinking out loud, but uh, you'll see in game. I'm just strategizing. It'll all play out, though, so it's not like you're missing anything you won't see. It's just some opening points of specifically skills I'm going to assign to certain people. I'm going to do some and change it up a bit. All right, so four turkey hens for meat, food, leather, bone, uh, and eggs. You know, so food uh, mostly, but leather and bone as well. Uh, four dogs. Three female, one male. Get some dogs going. We've got cats or critters and varmints. Gonna get some drinks. <clears throat> it's five per barrel. You get the barrels for free. I'm gonna get an extra little bit of wine just so you get an extra free 10 point barrel. Um, the outfitter shouldn't look at us too sideways because you know what? It's part of the rules uh, of the Dwarven Fortress and we're expanding the kingdom, so you know what? they That's why they allow it. That's why they pitch in the barrels and the bags for free, even though they're in like 10 points normally. But I'm okay with it. They can afford it. We're expanding the kingdom. Willow logs. Willow log is cheaper than charcoal. Choker is 10. Willow log is 3. You just got to turn it into charcoal first. Going to take rotal boulders. Rotal is magma safe, and I like it for its purpleness. Bitumus cool. Coal smelts down into coke, which is the same thing as charcoal. Uh, and you get nine coke per uh, smelting of bituminous coal, so I think of it as a net gain of, um, <clears throat> of eight. Malachite is the ore of copper. Um, it's military metals, value of two. And you get four copper bars. Casserite. Freaking. Or of uh, tin, you get four tin bars. It's got a value of two. It's not a military metal, but you can make tin glazes out of it. However, if you smelt these together, you get bronze. 
which has a value of five and is a better military metal. So you can make military metal means you can make weapons, shields, me mechanisms, also picks, you know, that sort of thing. Trap components. Svalorite is the ore of zinc. So you get four zinc bars. Uh, zinc has a value of two, not a military metal. However, you, you mix it with the, you know, the other malachite. So, you know, these two, you know, seven, five plus two. Mix it with the malachite. You get brass, which I think of as poor man's gold. Brass is shiny and blingy and nice, and it's got a value of seven, so it makes a little bit of nicer things. And, um, yeah, that's good. And it saves you, um, it saves you coal, too. It saves you, um, uh, you know, uh, fuel, because you're smelting two, um, uh, ores with, uh, you know, some, some coal, rather than just one at a time. So you'll get eight, you know, you get eight brass or eight bronze. Uh, and you get better, better stuff. So I say yes to that. Sand, baby. We're gonna get some sand. Get my milks. I'm just getting these out of the way. I do the first one. So each milk, you get a free um, barrel. But the primary thing I like to do is I like to make sure that these milks. Um, will be made into uh, cheese. I don't want... Um... Okay, I think... Oh. Yeah. So I don't... I want... Yeah. Those will be made into cheese. Uh, so I'm going to turn permissions off in the kitchen. You can only do that if you have the milk. That's the, the main reason I do it. And, I, you know, I don't mind the ass plate. Uh, sand, you each get a, a free bag, but... I have glass makers, so the main reason I'm doing that is because of that. Alright, 67 bituminous coal, 151 sand. I think we're ready to go, but let's let's name everything. Fortress. Brass pondered. Yeah, let's get a different one. Mirror ringed. I like mirror. Alright, so we got mirror, mirror brass, brass mirror. How about brass mirror? Yeah. No. Mirrors. Let's do brass mirror. Yeah, brass mirror. All right, that's good. Group name. The wealthy stockade. That's fine. Um, symbol. Bills and whiskers. The armors of conflict. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the armor's complex is an image of breastplates. The breastplates are smeared out into a spiral. The breastplates are striking a menacing pose. So, yeah, it's kind of silly, but it's fine. E embark. We're doing it. I'm excited. I'm always excited. This will be our new home. Aha! Okay, so... Um, for the glory of all... A crow lore lore? I'm bad at dwarvish. Um, here the dingo men get hungry. New dwarven here begins here. Canosol sunol. Uh, brass mirror, strike the earth. All right, cool. Good deal. Okay. So this is episode zero. I'm not going to do anything except for look at stuff. Ah, but yeah, the thing I was thinking of if you're like here is like, oh, what are you thinking of? I'm going to actually have two people do the masonry. I usually just have one. So I'm going to have two architects at first, even though I have a dedicated architect. I normally don't do that. 
Okay, so I got hazards, hazards everywhere. What's the name of the game here? Um, and you know, one thing I think I will do, just to save you the bother of watching this, this would be tedious. Um, and I'm not going to do all of this, but I'll, I'll do just a little bit just to show you. Uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, w, no. Okay. I think. I play this game all the time. My brain is misfiring. Sometimes I worry about myself. Um, yeah, it's like, it's not like I shouldn't know. Uh, oh, D. Okay, yeah, D. O. Okay, R. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna find out. Here, I'll do these little lakes here just to. So this is tedious, so I'm not going to go through all of this. Oh, we got a little downward slope there. I thought it was completely, completely flat, but yeah. This is the most near flat map I think I've ever seen. It's not completely flat, but it's close enough to where, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Alright, so let's take a look at this place. Not much to see here. Uh, we can see it's heavily forested. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that forest. How blocky that is. It looks like it's, yeah. Not a perfect science yet. Toadie's working on it. Have faith in Toadie. This little corner here, which goes down. Alright, so. Do a couple things at the start first. I see what is the wagon made out of. You might think, well, how is that relevant? It's not. But I do it. Ah, olive wood. Now I know. Okay. Being satisfied of that. Um. See, uh, oh, we got a, a water buffaloes. All right, we got a breeding pair. That's good. Um, all right, we got this milk, which I'm gonna forbid, but I'm I like to be strict about not. Um, what are you calling it? I guess I just have it right now. I think I'm just gonna ignore the lakes and just forbid everything. That's fine, because the thing is, is that if you um here, D O, these traffic areas. So normal is what almost everything is. That means that the dwarf sees it as two spots. So if you got a one here and you got a, a low traffic here, the low traffic they they feel like it's five spots like for passing. So put, putting uh, restricted means you know they're like ah uh, you know I'm not gonna that's far. It, it makes it seem like very far. So they will. They will go around, you know, even much bigger um, lakes. Like, I could probably get away with low traffic, to be honest, you know, because these are, are pretty small. But you're restricted to say, don't don't walk over these at any point. Like, you know, it's ice, and right now it looks pretty safe because it looks pretty freaking cold. There's a lot of ice here and stuff, but, uh, or snow, rather. So this looks pretty well frozen. We're going to get a thaw, but I don't think it's going to be an insta-thaw. It might start thawing right away, in which, you know, I'll have X number of turns before they become dangerous, but if a dwarf walks over it, it could be bad, bad news, you know. So, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Um, so, alright, so that's, yeah, that's that. Alright, so also, uh, I checked that. Uh, we also want to take a look. A look. Uh, prospect all again so this will give us a much more accurate count and also give us an idea of where the caverns come in and also if there's any volcanism which I hope there is I don't think there is like I scoped out this place a little bit and it just doesn't seem like it all right 33 so the aquifer is not far below and that's a lot of times the case so eh, I got three levels I don't always have three levels and it looks like it's not too too deep so that's good uh, 130 to 128. Still going to be a pain in the ass. And, oh, they take a while to get through. But, um, that's part of the game. It's part of the game, baby. It's part of the game. Alright, so. Let's see, garlic. Oh, yeah, so. Alright, one. Ooh, wow. So the, um, the caverns are not far below that. Well, no, that's, that's about right. That's about right. So 110. So 110 is the highest of the low number, so that could very well mean that the very uh, that 110 
It is the very bottom of the topmost layer of the first level of the caverns. I got some potatoes on that little ledge down there, and chicory and hemp. I got hemp. Okay. Let's see, we got Petumus coal. We got uh, lignite. We don't have tons of it, but we we have a good amount. We got a decent amount of colonite. I mean, this will be fine. This will be fine. We'll be able to fuel the forges. Fuel the forges. Crystal rock. We got over a grand. I'm happy. So 2,500. Could be bigger, but hey. Bismuth of the night. Platinum. We got some platinum. Adamant. Oh yeah, we don't have volcanism. It's way the yeah the magma is way the fuck down there. That's par for the course though. All right. We got hematite. Uh, Lematite and metal. Oh, we got a lot of iron, so that's good. Uh, silver. Malachite for more copper. Garnite for nickel, which is magma safe. So it's garnite and nickel are magma safe. Um, I think all, most of the iron ores are too. The iron is too. Sphalerite is not magma safe. Uh, but this is for more uh, zinc, so we'll be able to make more brass. Uh, more silver. These are interchangeable. Hoard silver, native silver. They just make silver. However, uh, if you make the actual material like native silver into furniture or horn silver, then it'll make different things. And, and some people have certain likes of different stones. Cast right, more tin, so I'll probably do tin glazes. I won't really probably make much more brass. I got, I mean bronze. I got, uh, I'll make brass, but not bronze. I got, uh, uh, magnet. I got iron, so that's better. Galena and tetrahedrite. Um, Galena is the ore of lead, tetrahedrite is the ore of gold. So you get, uh, Oh, no, no. Tetrahedra is the ore of copper. Galena is the ore of lead. So you get four lead with Galena and four copper with Tetrahedra, but you get more bars potentially. With Tetrahedra, for instance, you can get up to four extra bars of silver, but it's a 20% chance per bar. So you could get four, but you're more likely to get around one, maybe two, three. That's really good. Four is, you know, and, and none is not unheard of. 20% chance per. Galena, also you get a potentiality of four silver bars, but each one has a 50% chance. So you get more silver out of those. That's the breakdown there. Um, yeah, magma's way down there. Minus five. We'll find it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, so... Yeah, there's no... What do you call it? God, there's not a lot here. It sucks. Yeah, no fire clay. No, no clay at all. But that's alright. Need it. I don't need it. We got slate, marble, granite, diron. Wow, jeez, we don't have a lot. This is down there, so I mean, if I want, yeah, diorite. So we're gonna have mostly gabbro and yeah, mostly gabbro, <laughs> shale. That's some nice. Yeah. So we got a few things to work with. Okie dokie. Yeah, and the, it comes down to 128. There's my farms up top. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. And this concludes. Yeah, I think I think we got everything. So, Brass Mirror, thanks for watching. You have a great one. Hopefully, all your dreams come true. Uh, until then, have a good one. Thanks and bye.